Welcome, welcome. This is a presentation about the Bullmin, one of Pikmin 2's most iconic creatures. So the Bullmins are a weird hybrid between Bullborbs and the Pikmin themselves. The Pikilopedia describes them as Bullborbs infected by a Pikmin-like parasite. You can find them in groups of 10 Bullmin plus a big one, which basically captains them around. And you have to defeat the big one to then, and then you can whistle the smaller ones and they join your party. They only spawn if you don't already have 100 Pikmin with you. So like sometimes if you know beforehand that Bullmins can spawn, it's strategically better to just not bring 100 of them, but like 80 Pikmin or so. And you can only obtain them in caves. You cannot bring them to the surface. You can't really accumulate them like you can do for with white or purple Pikmin. And this is definitely a fan favorite. One of the most adored creatures from the entire series. Pikmin 2 is the most polarizing game in the series, but everyone, and I mean everyone, loves the Bullmin. So what's good about the Bullmin? Why should you add them to your party? Well, the thing is, they resist every element in the game. In Pikmin 2, there's fire, electric, water, and poison. I would just resist everything, which is especially good since, like, for water section, they just completely replace blue pickwins, as if blue pickwins weren't already, like, the least useful type in the series. And it's also really nice to resist the electricity, since may I remind you, in Pikmin 2, electricity is insta-kill, for some reason. Why? I don't know. They don't have secondary abilities, like yellow pickwin being able to be thrown higher, or fire pickwin doing more damage. Despite that, they're just incredible, because resisting every management is just amazing. And it's the reason why they're arguably the best type in the game. I mean, arguably because purple pickwins are a thing, and purple pickwins are broken as shit in pickwin too. They just demolish everything. They can even be effective against elemental-based enemies, because of how, how, how fucking strong they are. But yeah, aside from that, the blue wings are incredible. And that's pickwin 2. What about pickwin 3 or 4? There's no Bullman in Pikmin 3 or 4. The sad thing is, like, despite how loved they were by the fans, they just didn't make any other appearances. Pikmin 3 just basically had no caves. I mean, there's technically something, but it's not the same. They're not really dungeons as they were in Pikmin 2. Like, no caves, no Bullman, it's simple as that. But then there's Pikmin 4, which has caves again. But there's still no Bullmans. It's very likely because of the Glow Pikmin. Glow Pikmin basically replaced Bulbmin. It can't be used in the surface outside of nighttime. It's resistant to every element and also has the abilities of teleporting automatically to you when they're not doing anything and having a special charge attack which can stun the enemies. So like, yeah, they're basically Bulbins but stronger and they beat the same role. So like there was no, no real gameplay purpose for Bulbmin. But despite only appearing from one game, you can still regularly regularly see memes about Bullmin in the internet. It's very popular in meme culture. Here's just a small example of memes about Bullmin. You can see it on the Station Square takeover. And it was actually like the very first image chosen for the for the whole event. It should show you how much regarded it is. Many people did memes about Bullmins. I I also did need a meme about Bullmin. You can check it in the top right corner. And yeah, it's one of those cases where someone, something it generates a lot of memes because of how beloved it is. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe for uh, more content. Share this video with your family, your friends, your grandma, whatever. And I hope to see you again very soon. Bye.